Hey everyone, Pushing Up Roses here. Welcome back to my art channel. I'm sorry it's been a while. My last camera died, but I am back uh, borrowing a camera so I can show you this amazing guitar pour. And I'll explain more about that later when I'm tilting. First things I wanna go over are the colors I chose. First color is Liquitex Basics Prussian Blue. And everything is mixed with Floetrol today. Next color is Liquitex Basics Turquoise mixed with Deco Art Metallic Aquamarine. Then for my white, I am using the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, just in white. And this is going to be, yes, my Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple, one of my favorite colors of all time. Now we've got, ooh, which, which one? This one is the Liquitex Basics Quinacridone Magenta. It looks very pink on screen, but it's actually a little bit richer than that. And now I'm just starting over again with my Prussian blue and just doing that. I, I wrote this all down. I have a recipe on the side there. The guitar wasn't level, so I have door stops <laughs> underneath the guitar, making that level. I put a level on top of it. So this guitar uh, was given to me by my good friend, Luke. He has a great YouTube channel for music. He's a good friend, a client of mine as well. And I've been playing around with the idea of painting a guitar, doing a pour on a guitar. And he had this kind of cheap one. He said it was kind of banged up. Uh, he didn't mind if it got a little messy or if I messed it up, it wouldn't be, you know, too bad. I would still feel bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not about to mess up someone's guitar, whether it's cheap or not. So he let me borrow this guitar to experiment on. So I am not prepping this guitar. I want to see how it does. It, it's it's got a little bit of, I think, a lacquer finish on it, but I did not prime it. I just wanted to see how it does. And if I mess it up, that's okay. The cool thing about pour art is if I did mess it up, I could ultimately do it again and pour it again. By the way, that little cup I'm using for the aquamarine, that is, um, I had an orchid in there and it died a terrible death. I don't know what I did wrong, but its memory lives on in a pink pouring cup now. <laughs> it died good. I gotta say, I, I gave it sunlight. I gave it ice cubes every Sunday and that poor orchid bit the dust in a bad way. Anyway, um, so yes, I removed the pins. I taped over the little bridge there for the pins that holds the strings down, painted or taped over the neck just a little bit. And I only did that. I'm not painting anything above you know, I'm not painting the frets or anything, but I wanted to have something to grab on. While I tilted, I knew I would get paint on my hands. Even if I was wearing gloves, I would get paint on that. So I taped up the neck a little bit, and then I taped down the pick guard. In the in the hole, I have like a little guard up, so the paint is fa the tape is facing straight up, so that no paint gets in the guitar itself. I do think I ended up getting like one drip, like one drip of paint in there, which is fine. I, I'll probably scrape it out a little bit later. So I'm just going to finish up my cup. Oh, I, am I finished? I can't remember what I did here. <laughs> I like how I'm like wiping off the guitar as though I'm not about to dump a bunch of paint on it. So if I were doing a more expensive or rare guitar, I probably would prime it. But in this case, I wanted to see how the Floetrol reacts. You know, the Floetrol gives a kind of a latexy feel, and I was hoping it would just cling onto the guitar, you know, cling a little bit better than watered down paint. In the end, it actually did. Spoilers, it did. So I was pretty happy with that. All right, we are ready to pour on the guitar. I was very nervous. This is a very strange shape to pour on, especially with the taped off parts. I went with galaxy colors and I went with a traveling ring, traveling jiggle pour. The blue started to take over kind of in an intense way. I see my purple coming out there and there's some white. So I don't know. I decided to just kind of do a little ribbon down there because I did see that it was getting very, very blue. Now I did use metallic in here and I used I used a Deco Art Metallic Aquamarine and I did put white on top of that. And when I do that, I usually get a lot of cells cloud effects. Typically I'll do gold. I didn't want any gold in this color combination, but I did put the white on top of the metallic. And because I did that, there should be cells popping up. So I was kind of looking at this, kind of wondering where in the world I was going to take it. It looked kind of a mess, looked a little disappointing. It was a lot of blue. My purple did tend to get a little lost. 
the turquoise really takes over. So if you're going to use a turquoise and a metallic turquoise, just know that it spreads and it will take over sometimes the purple and the magenta also got really lost. So I wasn't sure what to do with this. So I just started tilting. I just wanted to get the thing covered and make sure that there wasn't a lot of paint on the surface. I think I approximated the paint pretty well. I think I used about 500 milliliters, um, 16 ounces. So I wasn't trying to uh, go down the sides. I was thinking that maybe for this first experiment, this is the first guitar I've ever done. I wasn't even sure what I wanted to do with it, to be honest with you. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna try to fully cover the sides. I decided to just tilt and see what happened. And a lot of the paint did go down the sides and you'll see the coverage at the end. So enjoy this completely chaotic tilt. I was getting paint everywhere. It starts out, I already, look at that, look at that. I already knock over my cup. It was chaos. It was, it was excitement and chaos. And there's a lot of paint everywhere at the end, but I'm going to speed it up just a little bit and watch the magic happen as the cells pop up during this tilt. So I'm gonna pop back in here and just say, I love that corner, that top corner up there. It does sell up a little bit more uh, in the end, because the more you tilt, because of the metallic, the more you tilt and stretch, the more cells, you know, are going to happen. You get those little cloudy cells when you put it up against the white. I love that purple corner. That was the mixture of the purple, blue, and magenta. It kind of created this almost light pink tone, you know, type of a purple. And yeah, I love that corner, the top corner and the bottom. It's going to sell up a, a whole lot more, probably because I torch it in the end. Uh, when you torch that kind of, the heat kind of enables more cell creation. I'm not even sure if I really needed to do that, but <laughs> let's continue to watch the magic. So one of the challenges I ran into and what I'm doing here is paint started to get in the little crevices it kind of started to because i'm tilting back and forth and there are things blocking that so a lot of paint had was resting up against the neck and so i was trying to just tilt it off without losing a lot of the shape i did a little lose i did lose a little bit of the shape in the end but you can't leave that much paint on a surface you know you have to I try to tilt to where it's not moving too much. I don't mind a little bit of movement. I do like having thicker paints. I like maintaining my shapes and my cells and my clouds and my lines. What in the world am I doing? Yeah, this was tough. <laughs> this is a really difficult tilt. It's even more chaotic than I'm making it look. Um, so yeah, I had a lot of paint getting up next to the neck and getting stuck. So I tried to tilt some of that off without you know, losing the shape without losing some of that beautiful purple, the beautiful light purple against the turquoise is, I think, really stunning. So at this point, I decided to torch it real quick, which I think in retrospect, I didn't need to do. You know, with the metallics, the cells and the cloudiness will form on their own. I was trying to get a little bit of that blue paint to sell up a little bit more, maybe get some more cells. Um, I, I didn't. <laughs> I did in the corner, in the blue corner on the top there. I did end up getting more cells from torching it there. I think I probably got too many though from torching it. And it had I just left it, they would have popped up on their own, I think. And I, I don't think it would have gone too overboard, but I was very excited by this result. I, I, I the pour looked a hot mess <laughs> to me. Like when I dumped all that paint on, I'm like, oof, this does not look like Galaxy. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why, but as soon as I started tilting it, the paint started reacting, the metallic started reacting. I got these beautiful cloud effects and I will have close-ups at the end because even this video is not doing it justice. It looks really beautiful. 
the turquoise did take over and I think if I were to do this again, I would probably use a little le less turquoise and more dioxazine purple or maybe even choose a different magenta, a lighter pink. Uh, I should have known better. The magentas always get a little lost in these pores, especially with the blue and the turquoise, they just kind of take over. But overall, I am extremely happy with this. Uh, I've, I think I have a lot to learn when it comes to pouring on guitars. If you're wondering about the acoustics, this is not going to be a guitar that I would recommend playing. It was just kind of a beat up project that my friend let me, you know, experiment on. The paint is very, very, very thin. And I don't, so I don't know if it'll affect the acoustics too much. I think it will. If I were to do this on an electric guitar, it wouldn't be a problem. There wouldn't be any difference really. This is going to be uh, for Luke's background though, since he does have a music channel, he'll just have something really beautiful for his brand, for his wall. Took kind of a beat up guitar and made it something I think really, really cool. So I'm gonna show you guys some pictures at the end here cause I'm just doing cleanup now. I hope you really enjoyed this. I hope you are inspired to try a pour like this. It was really fun. It was very nerve wracking, but it was extremely fun. And I hope you guys give it a try. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, or just watch it again. Just watch it a lot until I have a million hits. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy these photos.